Welcome to part three of my resistance band tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna go over what I said I was gonna do in the first video, which is the seated position for using resistance band. And then I'm gonna go over three and a half or four ways in which I use the resistance band for my upper body. All right, so when I'm using the resistance band in a seated position, uh, you wanna be very, very careful. So like I said, safety first. I'm gonna grab one of my heavier bands uh, and just as similar to when you're standing on it, you could either use a single loop or you could use a double loop. But regardless of whichever one you're doing, you always wanna make sure that the band is securely under the arch of your foot. So what that means is you wanna make sure that the band is right here where the arch of your foot would be. Reason being is when you're pulling the band, Right? You want to make sure it doesn't slip off. If the band is way too high, boom, you're going to smack yourself in the face and that's going to hurt really, really badly. So you really want to make sure that when this band is around your foot, it's right at the arch of your foot or even lower. Actually, for this one, the lower the better, right? This one's really good for if you wanted to do rows, if you wanted to do like seated Romanian deadlifts, but you really want to make sure that that band is at the arch of your foot. If you're doing rows, right, you can put it right here. And then you can pull, boom, right? And now it's safe and secure, right? Now if you wanna do something like a seated bicep curl or when the movement might not necessarily just be completely laterally, but you might wanna go at an angle, I would suggest you tipping your feet over to create a somewhat of an angle, a 45 degree angle or so, so that now uh, it won't slip and you're able to do something as a seated bicep curl. You can even bend your knees more, bring it up and do like that. For the upper body, there's pretty much three to three and a half ways that I use the resistance bands for my upper body. Now the typical way, say that you're going to be doing a chest press, a push-up, stuff in that position, in the pushing motion, a lot of times I'll grab one of my medium bands. Most of the times you'll see you're going to go around the back, over your arms, then you're going to put your hands through the loops. And now you're able to do a chest press or a push-up. I personally am not a favor of this position because it rubs against your arms. And a lot of times if you're doing push-ups, it kind of, I don't know, I just don't like the way it rubs against my arms. So I particularly do not like this position, but this is a standard push position for the band. I think it slips too much and makes it a little bit more difficult to have a little bit more versatility and mobility in my movement. So what I prefer, and this is the second way, is around, but you're gonna go underneath your arms to where it's right underneath your armpits, right? But your hands are still in the same position. So now it's underneath my armpits, but I'm still able to push without it interfering with my arms. So I have a little bit more movement in my arms without it um, getting in the way of my elbows and my arms. It doesn't rub against me as much. The downside to this is a, there's a little bit less resistance, so you might want to go with the heavier band, or, which I like to call my, my half of a modification for this one, is I will actually crisscross the bands to create a little bit more resistance. So from this position, I'll grab with this hand, this band, and this hand, this band. So now it's crisscross. It's a little weird, but I like it. And so now I have a little bit more resistance when I push, Right, it's still underneath my armpits, but I have more resistance. And that's the other way that I like to do it. Now, the third way is um, just pretty much for one exercise. I've only done this for one exercise, and that's for tricep pull downs. And that's just around the neck. Around the neck, boom. From here, I'm just gonna put my hands underneath, within the loops. And now from here, you could just pull down. This is kind of a light band, so it's not really a good example. You probably wanna go with a little heavier band, but around your neck, boom. Now you're able to do tricep extensions if that's too easy. You don't have to put your hands in the loops. You could actually just grab the entire band like this and then pull, pull down like that. And those are the three and a half ways that I use my bands for my upper body. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this part three of my resistance band tutorial. Um, what's gonna happen next is now I'm gonna go over how I use my dumbbells and bands together I'm probably gonna start a whole new series for that one So this will probably be the end of just the resistance band and I'm gonna go into bands and bells together uh, So I guess stay tuned for part one of that one. That'll be next week. I'm pretty sure so until then I'll see you guys next time